J'adore ça. Hey guys, it's me Ray from raytalks.co.uk and welcome to another video of mine. Guys, before we get started, I'm gonna need you to hit the subscribe button. Just do it, please, please. And whilst you're there, don't forget to hit that bell, ding a ding -a, so you will be able to know anytime I load a video. Guys, we are almost at, we are at the end of the year, it is November, and hopefully I will post this in this month, latest December. <laughs> So I am coming to you today with a video and you can probably tell by the title it's going to be my favourite shampoos for 2020. This year has been a very interesting year and it's as if we should just wash the year and start again but we can't do that we just had to We've had to just make the most out of this year. How has this year been for you guys? Let me know in the comments down below. So if you've been following my channel, you will know that I love a wash day. I love a wash day or I appear to love a wash day. I actually know I do enjoy washing my hair and um, I realise you guys love my wash days as well. Like my channel is still growing. Thank you so much for all those who, who have subscribed and watched my videos. But guys, I'm noticing that y'all, y'all really like when I wash my hair because the views are, some of my highest views on my channel are relating to wash days. So I've taken a note of that in 2021 and we're going to be doing more wash days. My favourite shampoo, this is in no particular order, but this one for me is probably like number one. Let's start with the best. By the way, all the products will be linked down below. It has to be the As I Am shampoo if you remember i did a wash day with as i am i'll link it up here and i have not used a shampoo like that in my life my hair just felt absolutely amazing it didn't strip my hair i do remember i had to lather it a few times i put a lot of um put a fair bit amount of product before it lathered and before i actually yeah before i saw lava but <laughs> when we got there sis that product ah be beautiful if you have thick hair if your hair is prone to tangles i don't know what they put in that shampoo it just like it removes the tangles you know me i love to detangle my hair mm -hmm. before i wash my hair it is important if you miss that if you miss that step <laughs> if you detangle before you wash your hair you are just laughing at your strands you are running the risk of having your strands whoosh, snatched, snatched, not in a good way, a bad way. That shampoo left my hair soft, left it tang uh, detangled, left it extremely malleable. My hair wasn't heavy, it was just pliable, well moisturized, and I'm aware that that brand, and I think all the brands that feature today, it didn't have any um, baddies. Hey, not Instagram baddies, <laughs> lol, but I don't think it had sulfates. I'm saying that because I don't have the product with me. I actually should get my phone and Google, but guys, it's like 10 something in the night and I'm like, let me do this video real quick and have a little devotion and go to bed. But yeah, honestly, I don't think it had sulfates. I don't think it had parabens. I think it was a really good shampoo. It was a really good shampoo. I wasn't just referring to how it made my hair feel ingredient wise it is amazing i'm currently reading bits of the science of black hair guys you need to read that book and i'm just reading a bit more about ingredients and we need to be careful about what we put in our hair but i'm one of those people i'm not going to tell you to not get silicones now maybe i'll say that in the future but you just use what you have just use what you have guys because yeah, start from somewhere. The second one in no particular order, it is ça, ça. J'adore ça, ça. Parce que, just brilliant. Just magnificent, ça. This is the Active Lawn Paris, Paris, fortifying shampoo. And this is from their Black Castor Oil line. You might have noticed I haven't 
apart from the as I am I haven't finished any of the shampoos and that's because <laughs> I'm saving them because they're so good I don't want to use them and I don't really get through shampoos so quickly like this can take me another like three to four washes to be honest I think I've used this like twice this is another one I remember left my hair feeling amazing again I have a wash day for this brand so definitely check it out and if you want to try it out it will be linked down below it left my hair soft from what I remember the consistency is quite light so you have you know I think I might have you know you might have the hesitation of oh is it going to be impactful this shampoo was amazing I remember like even when I edited the video and I watched a little bit back I literally just wanted to just give it a mwah, bisou, mwah. I absolutely love this shampoo. I think it's a bit more dear. To be honest, I think As I Am also is quite dear as well in price. But guys, it's worth it because it really works and it leaves your hair feeling amazing. J'adore ça. The, the next shampoo is... Ah! Guys, this is the Olive Oil Formula by Palmer's. I tried out this, the conditioner and the detangler. I didn't like the detangler. <laughs> no. The conditioner I did like. Again, I have a wash day for this line. So definitely check that out. One thing I love about this shampoo is the price. The price and the amount of product you get. And the fact that this, I remember, was one of those no, 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 no products. It has no sulfate, no parabens, no... Um, Faltates, no mineral oil, no gluten. The no gluten was like, what? My friend has a gluten-free channel. If you're gluten-free, check her out. This shampoo is, it leaves your hair feeling lovely. So if you're looking for an affordable, sulfate-free shampoo, um, no parabens, no mineral oils, then you want to get yourself this. I got it on sale, but I think it doesn't go, I don't think it's more than six pounds, honestly. And this stuff works again I haven't used a lot because I'm saving I'm saving it and also I have a few other products that I want to try for you if you're wondering does this impact my hair no it's fine you know people will be like if I change my products up so much it's not great for your hair my hair's thrived and I think my hair thrives check out here for this book if you want to know why my hair how I get my hair to thrive my hair has thrived based on my routine and those of you who have been following me from even like 2018 when I've been fairly consistent on YouTube you will see my hair and I'm gonna leave an image here <laughs> yes girl you see that you see that mm -hmm. that is not because of products that is because I have adopted a consistent hair regime boom so the last shampoo but not the least is the Osat shampoo. Ba, 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 ba. This shampoo, I remember thinking like it does a ton of stuff. It gently, gentle deep cleaning, the tangles, protein strengthening. And this is another no, 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 no of the shampoos mentioned have like no sulfates, no parabens. So if you're trying to be a bit more conscious about what you put in your hair, you could check out my DIY black soap recipe. Ah, or you can get the uh, shampoos I've mentioned that don't have any sulfates or parabens or synthetic fragrances. Oh, no synthetic fragrance. Okay. This one, I remember this left my hair feeling amazing. This coupled with the uh, the mask, loved it. My hair loved it. My regret came, hello somebody, when I, look at me pointing at you, when I, when I've used the hair cream, the lotion. I feel like that lotion wasn't really a, a low, I think it was more of a styling product. Do you know what I mean? Like you put it on and then use it to style. But yeah, this is amazing. Again, I remember this left my hair feeling soft. I feel like all these products left my hair feeling soft and malleable, especially the Active Long and the As I Am. Watch the videos and see what my reaction was. It's crazy because the shampoos mentioned hardly any of them I liked I don't think any of them I liked all the products I used so with active lawn I loved the shampoo and the conditioner that the conditioner is just amazing I should do a video on my favorite conditioners I didn't like that hair oil thing and I recently have um their grow wash I'm not into co-washing at all but it's a great it's a, it's a fairly decent for detangling my hair the Ossa again I like two out of three 
the active long it grew on me you know i didn't really like the detangler i loved the shampoo enjoyed the the mask i think i didn't like the hair cream at first but honestly as time went on and i started to use it my hair just mwah, loved it i've realized i'm a bit like that i need to give products a bit of a chance yeah but some stuff just don't work my way um can do hello <laughs> i do actually like the Cantu shampoo for the um, avocado line great price point yeah it has pretty decent quality so you can check that out as well these and the um active long shampoo are my favorite shampoos for 2020 guys make sure you're subscribed check out the links down below and let me know some of your favorite shampoos for 2020 have a good day thanks so much for watching bye Ray.